Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Leo. How are you guys? Hope you're all having a good week. I did put singles readings up on Monday. You can check those out in my playlist. Hopefully there's a message for you. If not, more readings up next Monday. This one has, the weekly readings more often than not have a lot of relationship energy. Take it as it resonates best for you. It can be any aspect of your life. Yeah, so I see an energy of the Nine of Wands, an energy of respect. Yeah, you may have someone who's kind of exploiting you. There's a lack of respect. You're looking back at all at something here. Six of Stones, somebody, there's an energy of exploitation. Okay, it has to do with respect. Somebody ex may have exploited you, disrespected you. Yeah, I do see an energy, something you didn't see possibly, uh, some kind of indecisions and some kind of injustice, okay, exploitation, someone who's not reciprocating. You may have been giving to someone, they may have taken advantage of you. It's a lack of respect is what I feel. You're ready to put something behind. Ooh, yeah, you got someone who's jealous, angry. This is someone who's manifesting here. So I see Eight of Vessels Rebirth. Oh my goodness. Just about when you're ready to put something behind, you got a person coming in here. But I actually feel, I don't know here. So it's a, it's a card of reciprocity, equal give and take. Yeah, you got someone here, that passion, that fire is still burning here. It's an energy of Eight of Vessels. You may have walked away from someone. They may have been very jealous. Okay, they may have manipulated you. Uh, you didn't see it coming, okay? And I see it was unfair. Something was unjust. It wasn't right, okay? This could be someone who didn't realize or didn't see the way they were behaving, but we'll see here because I do see this Pasha New Beginning, this spark, okay? With this Eight of Vessels, this walking away. I feel like you walked away from this person, yeah? You're feeling like there's no hope. I actually feel this person has some regrets here, but we're going to see what this is exactly. Some of you, this is going to be pretty heavy. Sorry if it's triggering, but it's here for a reason. It's possible this person could be coming back around, wanting a new beginning. Okay, so just watch that energy. Uh, it's a little energy of someone who's a little wishy-washy. Um, some of you do have someone who's kind of soul searching. You got someone here who's doing some soul searching. They're contemplating, looking for answers within themselves about their path, their choices they've made and their path in their life. Oh my. Tell me about the nine of bows. What is this all about for Leo? Yeah. Lack of reciprocity. This is someone who wasn't reciprocating. They were um, taking more than they were giving. Okay, so I feel as though you're not talking to this person. You're, um, yeah, I, I feel as this is, there was something in unjust. You can see here, this card is about unjust. It's about a lack of balance. But you may not have seen it, okay? Uh, or this person didn't recognize the way they were behaving. But we'll find out. Tell me about the Six of Stones. Yeah, so I do see some kind of rejection. So it's this energy where, you know, what it really could be is someone may have reached out, you may have reciprocated, and then you reached out to them and then they rejected you. It wasn't fair, it wasn't just. It feels like you were being exploited or somebody was using you. Could have been to do with money, but I'm not seeing a lot of that energy here, just at the beginning to do with this equal give and take. Somebody wasn't reciprocating. It's not that you felt disrespected or... You know, this is some kind of rejection. Someone failed to recognize. They failed to see something. It could have been yourself. You may have failed to recognize somebody was exploiting you, uh, using you, or this person didn't realize the way they were conducting themselves. It's possible. Some people don't always get it. Yeah, it's an energy of moving away to avoid a disaster. Someone's learning something. So it's an energy of moving away, waiting for things to calm down. Yeah, this person's learning something, though. Oh, yeah. See, it's at a crossroads. This is this person's path in life. They're contemplating their path. Some of you are moving away. You're giving up on someone. You're letting them go. Thank you, but no thank you. I see you moving on. You're moving towards something better. You got it. You're at a crossroads. You're at a crossroads here. What's this green man? Like I'm telling you, it feels like it's moving towards something better here. Tell me about this green man. Oops. 
Oh, you got an offer coming in. Yeah. Some of you are moving away to avoid a disaster. You're taking your lessons with you. Because that's what I feel. You, this is something you've learned about lack of reciprocity. Learning to recognize something you didn't see that wasn't fair. Someone was unjust. Didn't try. That's what I feel has basically happened. So someone is, it's an energy of thank you, but no thank you. You're not interested. Yeah, you know. <laughs> You're off on another path here. This is you, Leo, on the fence, choosing another path. See that energy? Yeah, you're releasing. You're letting go willingly. You're moving on. It's a healing energy. Yeah, this is somebody who offers something. They dangle the carrot, then they reject you. It's not. It's not very nice. It's manipulative. It's mind games. It's all those things that nobody needs. Uh, but it, you know, I I feel as though it's someone who felt like you were out of their league. So I do feel there are some kind of insecurities here with this person. Still, it's no excuse. Okay, because I do see an energy of respect. That nine of bows in this deck is respect, feeling very beat up by someone who's not reciprocating. It's like, you know, just giving up, letting it go. So what is this eight of vessels, this rebirth? This is an energy of walking away, but moving towards something better. Yeah, you're moving away from someone here that's not on the same page. I feel you have another offer. I do see a negotiation too. So you may have a, a job offer, a negotiation, something that's at a distance. You may not be sure. Some of you are really tired too. I feel like you're really emotionally drained uh, from giving and giving and not getting anything in return. So I feel as though that's why you're going to release. And it could be just a taking a break, taking a trip, even going for drives. It could be a road trip, just kind of clearing your energy. But for most of you, I feel like you're, you're letting go. It's a situation that's out of reach. You're let, willingly releasing it. But you have someone who's coming towards you. Yeah, you've got an offer. It could be a job offer, a negotiation walking away moving towards something new something passionate oh yeah it's a single person you're looking out for yourself Whew. you know what you've learned is to be look out for yourself more independent okay very much focused on the future taking care of you looking out for number one this is how you're conducting yourself because you've learned okay very nice leo you've got it <laughs> love this yeah five of vessels yeah. Yeah. So there's someone here who regrets not committing. Okay. Not doing their fair share to reciprocate. So they were wishy-washy. They know it too. It's just courting, dating, but they were wishy-washy. So yeah, you got another person contemplating here. You got another person who's looking for clues and answers. Oh yeah. There's some kind of change. The energy of just going with the flow, letting things evolve. Yeah. You got someone wanting to invest. So someone being very patient. You got a person who's looking to see if you're invested in someone. Now it's possible. This could be someone wondering if you're in a relationship with somebody, you're married or living with someone. They want to know if you're single. They may know something about you because I see them uh, contemplating, investing, waiting for the right opportunity. You got someone here too. I feel this energy here. Thank you, but no thank you energy. Somebody who's opportunistic. Okay, so just watch that if you do. If you don't have, if this isn't a past, be careful who's reaching out because I see a couple people. Just watch out for someone who doesn't give. They don't share enough info. They don't really want to give anything. Okay, just you're getting a heads up here to prepare. Yeah, that's all you've got this look at that empress energy the birth of something new yeah oh yeah you've got love here you want reciprocity if someone doesn't reciprocate you won't invest you won't share your feelings emotions empress energy very wise so you've reached that status beautiful leo yeah you've got a connection you've got a new person a soulmate connection you're moving towards a soulmate there's someone here who is contemplating uh reaching out investing in you they see you this is somebody who sees you uh, it's very loving, nurturing, and caring, very kind, very generous, okay? But the Empress, what happens with the Empress when the things turn around, things switch, is when somebody comes towards and they reciprocate, they share with you, they invest, show you they're invested, they connect emotionally, then you shower your abundance upon them. That's what's going to change. So you're no longer going to give without receiving, okay? Yeah. This is somebody who wants you to give. They don't really want to give anything. And that's where I feel you've been exploited. 
uh, in the past, I feel for most of you, but I do see the healing. Yeah, see, someone didn't treat you fair. They didn't treat you right. Some of you may have failed to recognize that you actually were giving too much. Okay, so you're taking those lessons. This is moving forward calmly and peacefully. This is where you, when you meet somebody, you recognize it faster. Okay, you recognize it right away. And you're like, no thanks. Okay, that's the Empress energy. No thanks, you're not coming in right. Okay, they need to come in right. They need to be able to share and reciprocate back and forth at a decent pace too you know this isn't an energy where you reach out and invite someone somewhere and uh, oh gee sorry you know uh, i didn't see that communication i was busy for the last month that that's not re that's not equal reciprocity when it, in this scenario you want them to come in right to treat you fair okay yeah some of you have a have had relationships or marriages or been in committed situations like that but I actually feel like you're letting go. It's a lot of baggage, okay? So it's telling you to stop uh, going there, but it's here for a reason. It's trying to remind you of something because you have possibly a scenario where someone may come in in that energy. So it's giving you the heads up to see it, okay? Don't block it. Take off the rose-colored glasses because you, you want to see, okay? <laughs> yeah. This is, you're going to be conducting yourself different. You're not emotionally investing. You will walk away from someone who doesn't offer you something solid, something reliable. You have a person who, who's contemplating you, I'll tell you. They're, oh yeah, you've got a person here, very fiery, very passionate. I see they have earth and fire in their chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, they, could have be, they could have Scorpio in their chart. Aries, Leo, Sad. See, this is someone who's manifesting. They know exactly what they want. They know how to go for it. This is someone who's not a quitter. This is someone who will offer you something solid. See, it's how they're going to conduct themselves. It's always telling you, watch how they conduct themselves right off the get-go. Okay, if someone who doesn't come in, they don't know what they want, then they're not conducting themselves properly. They're not ready for any kind of a relationship. So it's about you looking out for yourself. Yeah, this is yourself, number one, taking care of you. Very independent, yeah, a little cautious. You're only going to offer one cup. See, it's turning around. You're not offering all of yourself. You're not offering yourself on a platter. You do want someone. It's your nature, okay, to be loving and nurturing and caring, to, uh, to be very generous, to be very open. But I feel because of past situations, you become this empress. You've learned. It's the school of hard knocks. You've learned, okay? So this is really, really good, really positive for you. You have a soulmate connection. You have somebody who wants to get to know you. you got a person who's looking for a soulmate, looking for a partner. You may decide to be friends first. Yeah, you got an opportunity. This is a beautiful opportunity for a fresh new start. This is someone who's investing, but it's telling you to be a little patient. You may need to be a little patient, no, but definitely stay in the Empress energy. Don't offer yourself on the platter. You don't have to don't act like the wife till you are the wife kind of energy. Okay, see, that's that energy, that uh, Queen of Cups loves to nurture, care, cook, and clean, and help their person that they adore. But the thing is, it's not always reciprocated. Uh, then when you want something, they reject you, ignore you. So it's not a very nice uh, feeling. So whoever this is, you're um, letting them go. In fact, you may, like I say, you may have someone who comes in. It may trigger you a little, but that's okay. Because what you're going to, you're going to move away. It'll calm down very quickly. And, and you're going to recognize that, okay? This is where you want justice. Come to me right. You want someone to come in right. If they don't come in right, then they're not worth it. They're not respecting you. You can't have faith in somebody. Okay, you may have even had somebody who wasn't faithful in the past too. So I feel as though you've got a person who's definitely coming in. Yeah, you got a new person. There's high vibrational, full of energy. They're going to conduct themselves. Um, they're going to offer you something. They're going to ask you if you're single first and foremost. Gonna offer them too much though. You're gonna make this person work. Oh yeah, they see you as marriage material. You're very practical, very sensible. See, you, you, that's the Empress energy, focused on money, career. This person needs to make you feel comfortable first. You know, right? They have to make you feel comfortable. And now we all know, even the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups both love to make people feel comfortable. It's the way you behave, the way you conduct yourself. But this is someone who sees the way you carry yourself. Okay, so you're going to be watching how this person conducts themselves. 
Are you on the same page, the same path? Do you want the same thing? Trust your intuition. If it feels right, if your intuition says don't, right? But it's telling you, don't offer all of yourself. Just be friends first, maybe companions. You see, the Queen of Pentacles is very much about just being companions first till you get comfortable. They have to make you feel comfortable too. It's not just about you making them comfortable. You see, giving and giving. I feel like you got someone here who gets that energy. Yeah, you got someone doing some thinking here. Oh yeah, you got a person who does some thinking. They're up in their head here. Thinking about money, foundation, marriage, commitment. Someone strategizing here. Yeah, you got someone looking for you. This is someone who's on that path. I'm gonna tell you though, I do I gotta be honest, I feel like you're gonna kiss a couple frogs here in the next while. Or you've already gone through this energy. This sometimes spirit likes to give you a reminder because you have somebody coming in. It wants you to recognize, take off the rose-colored glasses, see it for what it is. No, it's about knowing when to move on to release willingly instead of dragging it on till it becomes painful. You see, spirit's very much about protection as well. Yeah, I, I feel some of you are going to walk away from a couple people, but I do feel, you know, you've got a couple people who may see you as the one. I feel like you're going to walk away from a couple, but I do see this energy of being exploited, someone not reciprocating. So I think you know, you're thank you, but no thank you. Yeah, staying strong, being brave. See, that's your energy, being brave, okay, and staying very strong. Some of you feel like there's no hope, okay? You feel like you're never going to meet that right person, Okay, so it's an energy of kind of moving on, but you do have someone who wants to court you. They actually want to do things in a traditional manner. I see a little Pisces energy, someone nurturing and caring. You need a little of that. So it's funny because I know Pisces a lot of times can be very, very nurturing and caring. In fact, they sometimes um, love to be um, the nurturing partner, you know, but it's definitely got to be a mutual thing, I feel, with yourself. So you see that energy? You've got, I don't know if they're a Pisces, but they have that energy, that nurturing and caring energy, the way they behave and conduct themselves. Yeah, see, it's manifesting. Two people manifesting each other. Two people showing each other they're reliable, they're stable. Two people learning about each other here. You've learned. You've learned the hard way, the school of hard knocks. You got a new person. You got someone here who sees you're very drawn. And I'll tell you too, this is the thing, you're very generous. These people drawn to your high vibrational energy. Okay, but they're they're not really very high vibrational, but you do have that energy coming in. I see it. Birth of something new. You have a new offer, yeah. It's an energy of someone who's gonna come in and put the work in. Somebody you got someone who wants to build here, Leo. You got this opportunity for a soulmate connection. You're going to contemplate it, though. But I feel this person is contemplating you. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's a decision. I see a little bit of Libra energy with this person making a decision. Uh, whether you're right for them or not. Whether they, you know, this is a judgment. To just go with the flow. Somebody who wants to have success. I, I do feel they're an air sign. I do feel a lot of air. Definitely Libra or Gemini. They could have some Leo somewhere in their chart too, but I, uh, I also see a little bit of Earth, but I see both of you having that Earth, or it's just an energy of two people making each other feel comfortable. Ace of Bows, there's definitely that spark. There's going to be this spark of attraction here. Just about when you're ready to give up. You may have someone who comes in who actually could be the one. Yeah, you've definitely got a new cycle happening. Oh, yeah, you're ending something with one person to start something new. Staying, you're not being ruled by your emotions. Empress energy again, not letting your emotions control you. That's that Queen of Cups energy, sometimes ruled by the feelings. You're no longer ruled by your emotions. You're making sensible decisions. You want this person, make, you know, it's like, want you they need to come in and make you feel comfortable <laughs> you will always be gracious and kind with that empress energy though leo yeah you definitely will 
Anybody who reaches that Empress energy is very great, is gracious and kind. Definitely not a pushover, though. You're no pushover, Leo. Yeah, definitely nurturing and caring energy. But it has to be reciprocated. That's what I feel like you're going to get. You're going to connect with someone. you got a soulmate connection, being friends first. Yeah, somebody here may have a little Aries or another person with a little uh, Leo in their chart here as well. Let's grab some charms. You're going to go. I think you're going to go for this. You'll contemplate it first. You'll be sensible. Do you see yourself long term with this person? I think you're going to go for it. They certainly are. It's a risk. It's a leap of faith. Pushing through fear. Oops. Yeah, it's about the, oh yeah, it's about comfortable. See, that's that energy of the pineapple. It's about home, a comfortable home, very welcoming. You see, I like that energy here. And we have two people who fit, two little fish that swim together here. But it's like yin and yang energy, two people who are different, but yet very much the same. Yeah, this is an energy, this could be a long-term commitment. This is somebody who's thinking of long-term, that seahorse. We have the horn, so there is that judgment in this decision. Some of you may have gotten a little bit of a wake-up call, maybe even gone through a little bit of an awakening because of some situations that have happened in the past. But I feel like you really do have this, Leo. I really do. I feel like you've got this. Yeah, things are about to go in your favor. This is an old cycle. A whole new cycle is beginning because you're like, this is who you are now. All right, this is how you're going to project you're not going to invest until they show they're invested. You will be patient, though, gracious and kind. No, but, you know, you want to be friends first. But look at that. Two people drinking from each other's cup. This is an opportunity here uh, to take a leap of faith. I think they're going to be the one to take the risk. Okay? Because I think you've taken risks in the past and been exploited. So I do feel like you're a little not, not sure. But if it feels right, you may. It's up to you. The Empress does what the Empress wants to do because you're not ruled by your emotions. You're very comfortable just being in your own skin, doing things your own way. So I do think, th see things speeding up and moving quite quickly. Very busy time here. I see a little angel on uh, two hearts coming together. Yeah, this is two people coming together and there's a little angel. There is definitely some protection. I love that uh, when that angel energy is there. Very protected energy. Lovely. You want someone who feels protective of you as well, you see. That's that energy of two people who look out for each other and share their feelings and emotions. Connect on that emotional level. This is so nice. All right, Leo, I wish you the best. Things are shifting in your favor. High vibrational energy coming towards you. People are attracted to you right now, too. Okay, but if something doesn't feel right, trust that feeling. Okay, because that's that feeling of home, very welcoming. Okay, if you don't feel like someone is reliable, if you don't feel that you can feel safe with them, then you know to take off in another direction. Because you do have a few opportunities here. I definitely see you kissing, like I said, a couple frogs. <laughs> couple people coming in and you're like no 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 because you've learned okay so what you're doing is actually speeding up that process of meeting the one okay it's not a, this isn't a slow moving energy could be somebody you actually work with too there could be somebody you work with that feels that there's no hope i mean you may not be interested in them you may not be really wanting to reach out not reciprocating you may be ignoring somebody yourself here so watch that um behavior as well but it all depends on what it is take care leo wish you the best bye for now